Hello students, welcome to Vedanta on English channel. This is Basarat Sir, your biology master teacher. Now all of us were in life from the last few hours hearing the verdict of the Honorable Chief Justice of India. Now let me tell you by starting that yes, there were very good questions put forward. Yes, there were very good questions from both the sides. And uh, unfortunately, yes, it has been postponed again. And um, because there were, let me tell you honestly what was happening is as soon, as soon as one question was coming, they were bombarding with other questions. So in next 10 minutes, I will be telling you what exactly happened in today's entire day. And so that you don't have to waste your time going around, you know, knowing what exactly happened. So what exactly happened in 22nd July Supreme Court hearing summary? Let's start. The first thing is very simple. The first thing which happened here was, let me show you, was the they right now at the end of the at the end of it they asked want a one page report from all who want rain it so last in the end of today's day they asked that they want a one only one page report now they don't want to hear anymore because it is getting so cumbersome and then so much of information is coming from all the sides now in the end they just want a one page report to tell that yes who are all wanting it? The second thing was fight for the bonus question. All of you know that the question number 19, there were so many questions, so many questions. It kept on coming. It kept on coming that, yes, how can we there be bonus marks? And for the very reason, there has been a team set up. Yes, there has been a team from IIT to discuss the bonus marks on the question number 19. So if you know in today's hearing, there were many questions. There were many questions one after another. One after another, many questions were put forward, but there were no definite result on anything. No definite result on anything. Just questions after questions after questions. For example, there was a question saying that petitionary said in the end that they need more time. Simple. They're like they need more time. So they will put forward the case to one more day. Then later on students, later on there was against the bell curve. All of you know there was a bell curve. We also discussed about the bell curve on the channel. Now, there were many counter petitions for it. There were many counter petitions saying that the bell curve itself is completely wrong. They're saying that the entire bell curve, the entire bell curve is wrong. And uh, they want a proper reasoning that yes, that is cheating happened. They're totally telling that yes, there is a small proof that cheating has happened. And uh, since the bell curve, bell curve is proving that cheating has not happened, now they're against the bell curve itself. And if you watch the entire thing, when they were discussing about bell curve, randomly one more question will come and it has been happening throughout the session throughout the session that every single time a point is coming out one more point is coming and suppressing the other point and there was no particular answer there were no particular answer for anything for example especially this one the cctv scan uh, uh, even one of the some of the students even in the telegram told me that yes in their center the cctv the entire thing was not present so yes there were good points put forward saying that yes there was no cctv points there was no cctv there was no proper enclosure that is there was no proper gate or anything so anyone can come in and anyone can go out that also was happening and apart from that address cam is also happening saying that there was no proper checking on the address stating that anyone can come in write the examination go so they were as usual as we've been hearing from few days every single time there was a question put forward. It could be CCTV or it could be the address or it's against the bell curve. One of the other point will come. When one of the other point is coming, the other point is being suppressed. So there was actually no definite answer. There was actually no definite answer for any of the following, right? No definite answer for any of the following. And that has been happening throughout, throughout today. And that is what, you know, makes us more sad that instead of giving one result at a time at least discuss at least one point at a time they kept on going in a cycle kept on going in a cycle yes this 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 for example there was a statement saying that there is no proof for mass leak yes there was no proof for mass leak yet there was a proof for uh, for, for an individual leak so let me tell you i don't know <laughs> when they discuss the no mass leak proof they're coming back to the bell curve now, once they come back to the bell curve, they're saying that, yes, cheating has happened, but only in a specific center it's happening. Like, even I want to understand why don't they stick to a point and then they say resolve it and they go to the next one. So that has been happening through, throughout the day. Throughout the day, that's been happening. And, 
let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing, which which was a little shocking. For example, when they were talking about uh, the bell curve, and especially the question number 19, especially the question number 19, one more case comes up. One more case comes up that a lady, uh, one more uh, lawyer is discussing, yes, their uh, representative, he or she could not write the exam very well because handkerchief was not allowed in the exam center. Now, in, in mass leak, no proper CCTV, no enclosure, right? Mass leak has happened. In all of that, there's one more small petition just, I don't know, was it a, a type of, uh, you know, uh, for us to distract from the main thing? Even I don't know. They're telling that, yes, there, uh, the student who was about to write the examination, handkerchief was not allowed, and that person was sweating a lot through their hands, and they were not able to circle very well. And because of that, time was wasted. Now, how do you resolve such large instances and also include one small one in the middle? Is there a chance to do that? I don't understand. Let me tell, let me know in the comment section what is your take on it. Like, how should they proceed? Should they stick to one point or should they keep jumbling on? Because I believe even if you push it for even one day, right? Even if you push it for one more day, unless you solve the core problem, the things will keep on repeating. For example, there was also point put forward because of different set paper. Yes, that also came up. There was a proper argument saying that what about the different set of paper which is given to different students? What about the difference in difficulty level of the different set of papers? Now, what is the solution to that? No one knows. Yes, the questions are being put forward, but as soon as the answer is going to come out for one thing, one more issue comes up and suppresses the other one. Now, this is the trend which we have observed here and all of you also would have observed, right? Like the entire day we sat, so many hours we sat and in the end of the entire thing, when you do not have a satisfactory result or don't have satisfactory answer, it feels like we wasted one more day, right? There was also one of the point was time loss not explained. That is, yes, the re took place. Yes, the re which happened, the re which took place in the few... Uh, uh, months back, like for a couple of weeks back, the main reason was grace marks and time uh, time was given. But there was no explanation of how much time was given and how the time was given. So there were so many points. Can you see? More than 10 points. I have mentioned only a few points here. I have mentioned only a few points here, but there were so many points put forward, but there was no satisfactory answer to any one of them. No satisfactory answer for any one of them. But let me tell you one thing. In middle of all of this, right, I got, we got a lot of questions saying that, sir, should I wait for counseling? Sir, should I start my preparation right now or should I take a partial drop, students? For that very reason, we have made separate videos on the channel, so please go check it out. And if you want to have a dedication session, yes, you do not want to be in the middle of all this and you want to have a proper discussion, you don't want to have a proper study schedule and you want to start preparing for NEET 2025, the answer is in the description, go check it out. And that was just the discussion today and uh, as this video would have realized, from past 10 5 minutes, I am speaking so many things, but there is no conclusion, right? Same, same thing happened. Same thing when I felt today. All of us felt. Shreya sir was there the entire time. The Diksha ma'am was there. Gopika ma'am was there. All of us were watching it. Even we did not get a proper answer. Even we did not get a proper answer. So that was just the summary of today's court hearing. Let us know in the comment section if are you satisfied with today's hearing. If you are not, let us know what you can expect in the tomorrow's one. Take care. Bye-bye until then.